Okay, hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a good uh, Christmas holidays, hope it all went good. Uh, this, in this video it's going to be a quick update of uh, TRX4, what I've done, what jobs I need to do, uh, some of the jobs I haven't done which I promised I was going to do, I just did it, I haven't had the time. And then I'm going to follow by uh, a little video, for about five minutes or so, of just the TRX outside in the snow. So it's the first time it's been out and uh, it was just a, a, a quick decision, it's, I didn't have time to do it properly, so just to run around the back garden. Uh, okay, so what have I done since the last video? Okay, I haven't done the wiring kit. Uh, now, the wiring kit, I might need some help on this guys, is this is the wiring kit here, which I've got. And I'll leave the link in the description below where I bought it from. Uh, as you can see, they all fit into the relevant places. That's the front, a left headlight with indicators, and then they're going to. The only negative thing about this I can find is there's no instructions that came with it. So if any of you guys have bought this one, which I will leave where I bought it on eBay, it's only cheap. Um, just a wiring diagram because I haven't got a clue where it goes, and there's nothing on the board. Well. It's got a uh, G, T, R, W, D, but I don't know what that means. I mean, obviously left and right, W, D, I don't know what that means. Uh, if any of you guys have bought one of these, I'd appreciate it if you could send us a link to, uh, I don't know, a PDF file or something, if that goes into the uh, controller to get your, your 5 volts. Uh, and I've got it working somewhat. But I can't get the, in the indicators to work when I turn left and turn right. But I can't get the brake lights to work and such. So what I've done is I've just I've just left it off for the time being. So I will I will get round to it. Uh, the headlights, sorry, the, the the lights at the top, they're wired into the that box I showed you. So that's not too bad. I put myself a little clip on the top, and instead of using these little clips which I use for the front, the back ones I just clip in using them. They said to work out just so I just clip them in. That saves losing two clips or off you need it. So I haven't done anything else to the TRX itself really. Uh, I've took the forms out, I put different forms in the, in the wheels to make them a bit softer to to go around there. So I'll just whip the body off and we'll have a quick look at what I've see if I've done anything on there yet. I don't think I have. Just get that out of the road. Uh, like I say I still haven't put the lighting kit on. And that was going to go to this box, but because it goes to the, because they all feed into here, I don't think I'm going to need to wire it up from there. I've got the fan for the cooler, for the motor, runs along to this box. The winch motor runs along to this, so that's the same. I haven't done anything there. Uh, and I'm just waiting for another, I'm waiting for two more. Are these brass axle covers which really add to the weight so I'm looking forward to putting and what I'll do is because I didn't do a video of putting these on I'll do a video of putting the back, back ones on uh, so that, that should work out quite good and tidy all these things up here I get started. okay so a couple of things I've got to put on which I'm not going to do in this video is I've got this thing from GRC Racing, if anyone's interested, GRCRacing.com, which is a 3D printed cover for the ESC and a fan and some little mountain screws. I'm not going to fit it now because I could do a video of fitting it, but that just fits inside there. Like so, and then this mounts onto there, something like that, and then obviously it protects 
protects that and it also sucks air in and blows it out the top. So that's quite nifty. So I'm going to fit that on each other there, but nowhere to connect it. So I'm going to run some power from this electrical box along GST connector and I'll just connect it into there. So having one of these boxes means that I can, I can connect everything from there. And remember this is running from the mains here. So you have to make sure that your, your fan you're using is going to be 12 volt. Uh, I mean I've got a 7, uh, 7 7.6 volt battery in, but put an 11 volt battery in, it's going to be 11 volts. So that's the only thing you got to remember. So I've got that to do when I get 5 minutes. I bought myself a bag, loads of screws and bolts. Now these are for, for this one. These are for the uh, the fitting of the trailer. I'm not going to spend too much time. I'm going to flash it over this. So this is going to be so I can bolt all these up. For, in there. This is going to be for them. Yeah. I've still got to work out an axle. Uh, I've got myself some of these end pieces so they can fit into the wheels and some of, some of them so it's just a matter of getting sorted with that that's, a, that's another project okay what, what else have I got to do is then I've got myself this little thing here which goes on the back can you see that it's like a trailer hitch fits on bolts on and you've got like a pin so that's going to be for the trailer job and actually that's a 3d printed one out I've done which goes in the back yeah let's check that camera see what see yeah which goes in the back and I think that's about it guys uh, I don't think there's anything else I've got uh, and there's some more LED so the mini the lighting kit really which I'll get eventually done um, I don't think there's anything else I'm waiting for, to be honest. Uh, I'm quite happy with the motor. I don't need to change it. Uh, it's working really good. It's, it's. I mean, I would really like if I could get uh, a low ratio gears, so I'd go even slower, so I could get the wheels to turn as slow as that, if you can see that. Or I'm like slow. I'm not in, interested in going quick. I just want to go really slow but have loads of torque. So I might look into changing the cogs on the main drive to a, a, a lower teeth cog uh, or something, I don't know. Uh, but it, it does go pretty nice. I just would like this motor to tr spin faster but these go slower so, so it's not like generating too much heat. But anyway, it works pretty good. I've got no problems with it at all. Uh, right guys, what I want to do now is I'll jump straight over to the little bit where I just put the T-Rex outside on the snow. It's the first time it's been out uh, and it, it performed okay. I mean, it's done nothing special. It's just to, uh, just to show you that it's, it works outside really. Uh, and it was just a spare the moment thing. Okay guys.